Hey everyone, this week we're watching Lumumba, a film by Raoul Peck. Lumumba tells the story of the Congolese independence leader Patrice Mumumba and his life from his arrival in Leopoldville until his assassination in early 1961. The Congo was colonized by King Leopold II of Belgium in 1855, and for years Leopold ran the colony as his personal property, extracting massive amounts of wealth in the form of ivory, rubber, and mineral wealth, and enforcing a system of slave labor through torture, imprisonment, and terror. Uh, amputation, as noted in the film, was a common form of punishment for those who either refused to work or who failed to produce uh, the materials in sufficient quantities. In the 1950s, a strong independence movement emerged in the Congo, and that movement culminated in massive popular protests and riots in Leopoldville, the Congolese capital, in January 1959. That unrest set the stage for Congolese independence in early 1960, which we see represented in the film. Now, just after independence, uh, the Congo enters a period known as the Congo Crisis, Tensions between the various groups that comprise the government of national unity, uh, tensions between the newly independent Congo and the former colonial power Belgium, uh, struggles between the various regions of the Congo, particularly between Katanga and the rest of the country, and Cold War tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union all play out in the context of post-independence Congo. The crisis in Katanga actually involves the United Nations and results in the death of Dag Hammarskjöld, the Secretary General of the United Nations at the time. The Irish film, The Siege of Jadotville, actually is a really good telling of some elements of that crisis. On December 1st, 1960, Patrice Lumumba was arrested by forces loyal to Joseph Mobutu, who would later become known as Mobutu Sesiseko and Lumumba was transferred to Katanga province and handed over to forces loyal to Moises Shombe. A new chapter begins in the dark and tragic history of the Congo with the return to Leopoldville of deposed Premier Lumumba following his capture by crack commandos of strongman Colonel Mobutu. Taken to Mobutu's headquarters past a jeering, threatening crowd, Lumumba was impassive at this lowest ebb of his stormy career. Mobutu watched as his troops manhandled Lumumba, but promised the pro-red Lumumba a fair trial on charges of inciting the army to rebellion. Lumumba was removed to an army prison outside the capital, as his supporters in Stanleyville seized control of Oriental province and threatened a return of disorder. Before that, Lumumba suffered more indignities, including being forced to eat a speech, which he restated his claim to be the Congo's rightful premier. Even in bonds, Lumumba remains a dangerous prisoner storm center of savage loyalties and equally savage opposition. On January 17th, 1961, Lumumba alongside two of his compatriots were murdered. They were shot, their bodies were dissolved in sulfuric acid, and their remains were buried in an unmarked grave. As usual, I've prepared a film viewing guide for you. It will outline a number of the key items, explain who the major players are at Congolese Independence, and point out some of the scenes that I'd like you to pay particular attention to. In general, I'd say look out for the ways that nation building and state building play out in the context of post-independence Congo. Uh, pay attention as well to how Lumumba's idea of Pan-Africanism conflicts with Chombe and Kasavumbu's ideas of a more ethnic-based po approach to politics in the Congo. Cold War tensions are also very clearly at play in this film with the Soviet Union, the United States, Belgium, and the United Nations all playing an active role in Congolese politics immediately after independence. This is a great film. Raoul Peck is an incredibly talented director. In fact, you may want to check out some of his other films, including his 2016 work, I Am Not Your Negro, which tells the story of the life of James Baldwin, and his 2017 film, The Young Karl Marx. But that's it for now. I really hope you enjoy Lumumba, and I'm excited to hear your thoughts about the movie. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day. Bye. What was it about the man? Patrice Lumumba that made them so afraid? Was it that he dared to dream out loud of freedom and brotherhood for his fellow Congolese? The 
year was 1960 and the Belgian Congo was becoming an independent Congo. It was a new country full of enthusiasm, fury and violence. be trusted with such powerful enemies working behind the scenes. <laughs> Who could foresee the events that would destroy the hopes of this new nation? Monsieur Lumumba. Lumumba, a film by Raoul Peck. <laughs> <laughs>